it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Where have I been? <laughs> um, super busy basically is, is all I have to say. Um, school and a full-time job. I'm like trying to do YouTube videos just isn't a good mix. So I didn't have time to film all of those videos, I promised. Um, I wanted to show you guys all the Valentine's Day kits I was gonna use. I just didn't get to it, but here is last week in my suit quite design planner. Very adorable. And I, I haven't finished this week's yet. This is a kit from the Butterfly Planner. Haven't finished it yet. Started it, but didn't get a chance to finish it. Um, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry I promised these videos to you and then it just didn't happen. Um, however, my part-time job started um starts tomorrow my first day is tomorrow and i only work three days a week and i'm so <laughs> happy and excited about that so i can concentrate on things that bring me more joy and also my degree um anyway so here is this spread this is a sticker guru kit and then here's my other sticker guru kit spread from valentine's day um yeah so for this week I am going to use this super pretty uh, winter kit. It kind of has a little bit of Christmas vibe to it, but I don't care. I love it, so I'm going to use it. Um, I might skip skip those boxes, but other than that, I love this kit. Um, like I said, it's from Butterfly Planner. This is her full-size kit. There are so many stickers in her, her big kits, like just a ton. So, whoop. That's, see, that was a lot of pages. I don't even know how many pages that is. One, two, three, four, five, six pages of stickers. All right. So let's just dive right in since freaking hair everywhere because pets are hairy. Where did my tweezers go? They were right here. I literally smushed them underneath where you guys are sitting. <laughs> Hopefully I don't need them because they're they're wedged under there. So that's funny. All right, let's start with the bottom washi. <sighs> Seriously, I, you guys, I got a dog. Um, in case you don't follow me on Instagram, I have posted his picture there a few times. my stories um and he's hairy and he gets his hair everywhere and I just like I thought cat hair was bad no 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 um dog hair is bad all right let's see if I can keep you guys in frame a little bit here maybe I should zoom in a tad okay there we go wish I could see my camera a little bit better I cannot, so it is what it is. Also, look at my nails. They are so short. <laughs> um, since I'm starting my new job as an assistant teacher at a preschool, so excited, you guys. I'm gonna be in the two-year-old classroom. I feel like I've told you about this in my last video, but that was like two weeks ago, I feel like. So, we'll just tell you again. Um, I just figured that it would be better to have shorter nails when you're in a career of children because you got to do a lot of things with your hands and it's just easier to have short nails, right? <laughs> and I don't want to accidentally scratch it, you know, because I, I will say I have accidentally scratched my niece and nephew a few times. This don't frame. Yeah, you're on the bottom, but that's okay. Um, I always felt bad and I don't want to scratch somebody else's kids, you know? So, short nails, short round nails it is. It's definitely weird, it's weird. But 
it's cute and it's fun and it works. Um, let me get back to my doggo. He is an Australian Shepherd. I do believe he's a mix because he's not a mini, but he's also not regular sized. He is in the middle somewhere. So I don't know exactly what he's mixed with and neither did the Humane Society. We, that's where we got him from. Um, he is nine months. Um, we're guesstimating that his birthday is in like May 3rd. Is that's the day we're gonna go with. Um, but yeah, he's, he's a lot to handle. Like a puppy, any puppy is a lot to handle, but he's also a working dog. So he, that makes him, you know, that much more hard to handle. But I'm enjoying him a lot. Um, we start our doggy training classes with him um, next Tuesday, next week. Very excited to do that. I'm also really nervous though, because for starters, uh, before we adopted him, they told us that he seemed to not be uh, properly socialized. Supposedly he was a stray, um, but they were very much under the impression that who, whomever it was that brought him in was just claiming he was a stray because they were apparently handling him in such a way that you wouldn't handle a dog you don't know. Like they were grabbing him fairly aggressively, like on his face and things. And yeah, so we're pretty sure he had a rough start to life. Um, and it kind of shows in the fact that um, he gets very nervous around people. Um, mostly men, which I think is, they said is a normal dog thing. So it does take him a second to warm up to men. Um, but he loves my husband a lot now. Um, and, um, he's also struggles meeting other dogs and we've had struggles with other people's dogs, making it harder for him. And I'm super frustrated with that especially because it could have been avoided altogether <laughs> uh, basically we went to a family dinner and um we asked a certain human to not bring his dog because his dog is aggressive yesterday's the 15th right yeah but he brought him anyway he brought her anyway and they got in a fight in the backyard and it was well he just escaped the kitchen he's literally right here i'll be right back <laughs> okay I'm back um we have him gated in the kitchen area we have a fairly large kitchen so he works perfectly for him because we can't really trust him around the cats yet. He does like to chase them and he just figured out how to get out. So <laughs> freaking Australian Shepherds are so smart. Um, yeah, anyway, what was I saying? Something about, I don't know. Anyway, we're trying to make it more easy for him to meet other dogs, but there's only been two dogs he's met that one of them has been really easy. Um, the other one was a little bit more difficult, but they were able to coexist just fine. My sister-in-law's little chihuahua dog. Oh my gosh, he just got out again. Clearly, I need to fix the gate that he's in because he just really likes to be around. But he is getting better with the cats. He's ignoring them way more than he used to. But there still is that if they, if they run, he will chase them. Um, if they sit quietly, he usually just ignores them. But I just shut the door and he's just hanging out with me in here. We're just gonna do it that way. Um. <laughs> anyway, we're trying, we're trying to make it easier for him to meet other dogs. And there's just been some people who have made it difficult. Our backyard neighbors, uh, cozy one. Has it been just crazy 
wintry weather where you guys are because it has been here and it's freaking February. And I'm not happy about it. Anyway, our backyard neighbors. Did I tell you guys about this? I don't think so. Well, maybe I did. I don't know. But our backyard neighbors um, broke the fence. And we know it was them. One, because they have four dogs. Two large breed dogs and two medium to small breed dogs. Um, my nose is itchy. Um, and it broke before we even got Coda, so we know for sure it was them. And also the part that broke, like got pushed in. I keep looking at myself. I've been, I'm off my, off my game guys. Um, got pushed into our side of the fence. So like if it, you know, it doesn't make sense. It just, it's obvious. If I could show you, but <laughs> goodness, I'm not telling this story very well. Um, what do I want to do here? I think I liked, what did I do? In this one, when I started my, oh, oh yeah, it's a cleaning goals. Okay, that's what I thought, that's what I want to do again. Um, okay, anyway, so they broke the fence and it is a, it's not just like a tiny break, it is significant. Um, it's like, I want to say two feet tall. Like it's a big chunk of fence that's missing now. Um, and Coda could easily fit through there if he really wanted to. I've seen him pretty much get his shoulders through that hole. Um, anyway, so they have yet to like even look like they're going to fix it. So I really don't think they're going to, and then I feel like it's going to be up to me and my husband to fix it if we care about the well-being of our pets. Um, but anyway, um, they have a, they have like an upper level deck on their house. So they can see into our backyard. They can even see into my living room. Like they can, they can see everything from that, from their viewpoint um and yesterday i was outside in our backyard with coda we were playing fetch um and the guy he usually smokes a cigarette up on his deck and he just comes walking out his dogs come barreling down and they go right to that big hole and start um barking and growling and like all this stuff through the fence and of course Coda gets up there and they start fighting and I'm like doing my best to pull them apart um, and the guy is literally just standing on his deck smoking a cigarette and just calling his dog's names while I am like down there trying to get them separated At a, like that it happened twice it's like legitimately happened twice we were already outside I made sure that they weren't outside already and he just lets his dogs out while we're outside um and it happened twice it freaking happened twice and I'm just like come on you can't wait five minutes to let my dog use the bathroom like <laughs> I don't know but I was really pissed off um especially by the fact that he didn't even do anything he just stood up there um, and just, can you come back up here? I was so mad. <laughs> oh, anyway, so it's, it's, it's frustrating when you are trying to, for one, form this relationship with your new dog, who is a puppy, who had a rough start in life. <laughs> to trust you um, and to listen to you when other people's dogs, um, other people don't care about how their dogs are being. Like, it's just, it's so incredibly frustrating. And it just makes, it's been, it's made it harder for us to teach him that it's okay to be around other dogs because 
other dogs haven't been so nice to him. Um, so yeah. Anyway, we we are gonna keep trying, of course. I we have a lot of dog um, parks around here, and I would have taken them to them already, but it's been snowing up the wazoo out here. Okay, got him a toy, so he's distracted, hopefully. Uh, all right, so let's do this pretty pattern. Yeah, so anyway, he's been a lot of work, and not just because he's an Australian Shepherd and because he's a puppy, but um, other people have made it difficult for us as well, but um, I should have known that that was just gonna be a thing. Not everybody views having dogs the same way, you know? So, we'll get there. Like I said, we start dog training classes next week on Tuesday. Um, I will say though, I'm a lot more nervous for that now than I was because of the interactions he's had with dogs so far. And it's a training class with other dogs. So I'm just, I'm a little bit nervous now, um, the way that he's gonna react to them initially when we are in the class. It, um, so hopefully he'll be busy enough that he won't notice. I have, he's very squeaky toy, um, tennis ball oriented. So, oh no, I forgot to put these on the top. Dang it. These are like my favorite things about the butterfly planner kits. Ha, they have to go up there. Let's see if I can get this off. Um, so it's easy to distract him from stress or stressful situations like other dogs. Like when we were at my father-in-law's house and that aggressive dog was there, um, I was able to keep him distracted with, I was able to keep him distracted with um, his squeaky toy. There's gonna be a lot of weird cuts in this, I think. <laughs> Because I'm trying to take care of um, this puppy dog and film this video at the same time. So, if you notice weird, weird cuts, that's what's happening. I have had to step away for a moment. Anyway, so I'm definitely going to bring, um, are we allowed to bring toys? I didn't, I should have asked. Um, I did talk to the trainer over the phone and I didn't even think to ask. I know we have to bring like a pouch with dog treats in it. Um, Cause that's what you use to train dogs with. Ooh, but I didn't ask about toys. I don't know, that is super crooked. I don't have my tweezers, they're hiding underneath that thing. Uh, let's see what's next, what's next? Today is Tuesday. So what am I doing today? Not a whole lot. Um, I did a lot of cleaning and stuff yesterday. And a ton of homework. I did a ton of homework yesterday. But today, my plan is to do this and then read. I just wanna read. Um, da -da 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 -da. Let's do, let's do this, because I want to get this up today, so. We'll probably be doing some at a time. And I know I'm going to the gym this afternoon. The running has been going quite well. My gym stickers, where the frick are they? Why don't I label my stickers? I don't know. Oh, there they are. Okay. This is... Oh, that doesn't match at all. <laughs> oh, please. Uh, okay. I was gonna do that one, but... That's a little pink for what we got going here. So maybe... maybe a Molly? Would be cute. Let's 
do like this orangey one. Yeah. Anyway, the running has been going pretty well. Um, the the longest in this interval training we have had so far is um, three minutes of running. Now I will say. <laughs> I wouldn't really consider myself to be running. Um, it's more definitely more of a jog because it, I just can't. My lungs and legs will not allow it. How you doing? Um, so yeah, tomorrow. Let's see. I am doing laundry right now, but I'll probably finish doing the laundry tomorrow maybe maybe I don't know what tomorrow's gonna look like I don't work until in fact let's put a work sticker yeah work sticker I don't work until 10 o'clock tomorrow which is so late in the day it's kind of exciting um because like for the past nearly seven years I've worked um at 7 a.m so this is gonna be a change faux show but i'm so excited for it and so i work 10 to 3 wednesday and then i'll probably do actual homework like i know yesterday i said i was doing homework but it was actually like for my licensing homework so it wasn't for like school, it was for my job. Um, so, yeah. Where are my homework stickers? Come on. There they are. Okay. Yeah, so I'll probably spend a good chunk of my afternoon like legitimately just getting homework done. She's cute, but she's kind of on the pink side. Side, but I don't think I really have any. I kind of want a bigger homework sticker because I want to spend a good amount of time working on it. So I think she might be my best bet here as far as sizing goes. Oh wait, that is adorable. Look at that. Put one of those down maybe. Oh, no, it's still pink. <laughs> Uh, I buy all the pink stickers and then I never have any way to use them because yeah, I don't care. Anyway, um, a good chunk of time doing the homework. My husband is out of town again. Shop, surprise, surprise. Um, so I know he wants to do, um, he texted me yesterday and was like, hey, let's have like a FaceTime movie night or something. Um, so he's never seen Coda. He's putting his face in the litter boxes. My goal was to not let him be in this room at all, but with the two times he's gotten out, we're just gonna have to for now. Anyway, um, he's never seen Pitch Perfect and my aunt and uncle, his aunt and uncle, mentioned it the other day and they both really enjoyed it. So he wants to watch it now. And I'm like, okay, let's watch Pitch Perfect. So that's what we're gonna watch tomorrow. Um, tomorrow afternoon, evening. And he's apparently going to Buffalo Wild Wings today, which I've been to, but I've never actually ordered wings from there. In fact, Let's just put all these on right now. In fact, I have never, I want to say I've never had wings before, but I did have some from Domino's once and they were so gross. They were like <laughs> soggy, a soggy, disgusting mess. Um, so I just don't feel like it's fair of me to base my wings experience and like how all wings would be on those wings because 
they were really bad, you guys. Um, I always remember talking to my coworkers about it and they were like, you need to go somewhere that actually is like known for their wings. So my husband's going to Buffalo Wild Wings with his coworkers tonight and I'm a little bit jealous because I want to go and try some actual wings. We do have one in town, but I don't want to go myself. That would be dumb. Maybe we can go when he gets back. Wait, I don't want to close this yet. So like, my future goals here, I've already been filming for 28 minutes. Um, and I know that's partially because I've had to run around with Doggo here. Um, but I really want to make these videos shorter. I feel like my plan with these are so long. And honestly, it's probably because I ramble on for ever about nothing. Right? So... I'd like to make them shorter, so I I don't know really how to do that because I can't stop talking. Um, what do I want to do here? Ooh, I forgot to fly. I love fly it. The fly it down. So we'll see how that goes. Who knows? But this one, this one is just already going to be a fail because of the distractions I've had. Hopefully my other ones will be okay. I also am not sure how my schedule is gonna be um, coming up. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. I need to put a work sticker down. I've never had to use these before because my schedule's been the same forever. But I work nine to three Thursday and Friday. Um, these clearly aren't gonna be in chronological order. That's okay. Uh, anyway, I don't know what my schedule is going to be like or how I'm, because this whole part-time life is totally new and weird to me. Like, I don't even feel like that I am part-time yet. Like, I feel like I'm just kind of on a little vacation. Um, it's just weird. And I don't know how to handle it yet. <laughs> so, um, I just don't know how my plan with me is are gonna go up like how often if I could do more I really wanted to do more like that was part of my reasoning for finding a part-time job is because I want to put more time into this because I love it um but you know with a full-time job and going to school it's, it's really difficult to do put another work sticker I don't know if my schedule next week, my my schedule is supposed to be, um, my husband comes home on Friday too. Bless you. My schedule is supposed to be um, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays from I believe 8.30 to five. So I should have plenty of time to do stuff, but you never know. Um, that Christmas Eve? No. Don't think so. Oh, that pattern's the same. <laughs> oh well. It's already down. We're just gonna leave it. I'm gonna put a planner here because I'll probably be playing this up Friday night. Um, but like I said, I'm hoping to have like all my homework. Well, um, School's a little bit different this year because I'm doing a lot of fitness stuff. So the running just kind of happens whenever my friend and I have time to go together. Um, what do I want to put at the top paper? Oh, the weekend banner. I feel like I'm just a hot mess of stickers over here. I'm still not used to butterfly planners, bigger kits. I used to buy like the mini kits because I had a smaller planner. So this whole thing is new, but I love it. Anyway, what was I saying? I don't know. Nope. So pretty. Uh, oh, I was saying, I, I'm hoping to have all my work done before the weekend even starts. Like I just want to have it done. 
so I can spend the weekend with my people and with my planners because that's what I want to do. <laughs> um, also, I'm really excited to have like a more consistently clean house because I get a lot of stress when my house isn't clean. Like, there will be days when I'm at work. In fact, I'm gonna put a clean sticker on Saturday. Um, there have been days when I've been at work and I'm just like stressed out about <laughs> the fact that I didn't do the dishes the night before, which is totally ridiculous because it's not like it's ever that bad. It's just bad enough, you know. This is so cute. I'm. This is from Art Box Stickers, but unfortunately, her shop is no longer open, which makes me sad because I love. I loved her stuff. Oh my, <laughs> Ruda. Sorry if you can hear my dog chewing on his bone in the background. Okay, fixed it. It's fine. Um, uh, uh, uh. Oh no. The spot I had all these in shut. Okay. Um, Would it be dumb of me to use these? I really like it. It's just, you know, they're stockings. Does it really matter? No. It's my planner. I can use whatever stickers in it. I want. So we're using it. My nose, man. Okay, now Sunday. I have no idea what the weekend plans are gonna be. At all. Let's use a full box. And then let's use. Where is it, Curtis? Pack box. Okay. I probably won't do a whole lot of anything on the weekends because that's my goal to actually not do that much. And then I don't know. How about I use this cute butterfly icon? It could be anything. Right. And then, there's another flag. I usually use all the flags, but I did not this time. Weird. Okay. I think we did it. Who knows how long this video will be after it's edited down, but hopefully, hopefully I met my goal and it's a little bit shorter. Who knows? Sorry, I just bounced that around. Look how pretty it is! Oh, I should, I should put it there. See, there's not enough room to put like a full box. Do I have another half box? Nope, not a half box. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to leave a blank. Figure it out later, because I don't know. Anyway, there she is. I'm gonna write in it later, so follow me on Instagram so you can check it out. <laughs> anyway, I'm so glad to be back. Hopefully on a more regular schedule for you. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for hanging out with me today, you guys. Um, make sure to subscribe if you want to hang out. Wow, hang out again later. I'll see you then.